Now there's five QAT strategies I wanna quickly go through here before we get to the questions and I wanna quickly show you how to set up the best PowerPoint shortcut ever. So the first is to put your QAT below your ribbon for ease of use. So if this is your ribbon, your QAT can only be in one of these two places. It cannot be in a third place. And I really encourage you to put it below your ribbon for three reasons. Number one, as you start to load this up, so these QATs have the same number of commands on them, 25. Notice that as you get to the end, if you're above the ribbon, you start to like get this extra little drop down or down below you have much more room. So if you put your QAT below your ribbon, right off the bat, you have much more room to work with, which gives you more options to add commands and fast track your daily life. The second thing is as you start to add more commands and features, if you have it above your ribbon, you lose the file name you're working on, which can be super annoying when you're working with version two, version three, et cetera. Whereas if you again put it below your QAT, you have much more room to have your file name, which makes it a lot easier to use. So that's another reason I recommend putting it below. The second reason is if you are using your QATs, we talk about strategy in a second, and you're using your mouse for some of those commands, all right, although this couple extra inches that you have to travel with your mouse doesn't look like a big deal, this will be super annoying over the long run working in PowerPoint. So it's a lot easier if you put it below your ribbon. So just in general, in, when in doubt, put your QAT below your ribbon, and it's as simple as if I come into PowerPoint, you come and find, just hit the Alt key, come and find the numbers, yours might look different than mine, Here's the show above the ribbon, that's one option. Click the button, show below the ribbon is the second option. So that is your very first strategic point. The second point is you wanna focus on commands that don't have traditional shortcuts already associated with them. So here is a default um, QAT that comes with Office. The problem with this is, all right, save, redo, undo, slideshow. These already have easy to use hold shortcuts associated with them. So this is way too valuable to be using this kind of space for, for shortcuts that you should already know at the get-go. So you really want to, and if you come to the end here and you open this, all right, even all of these other um, commands that PowerPoint gives you to put on there, these new, Control N, Control O, Control S, Control P, all right, these already have hold shortcuts. So I highly encourage you not to put this type of command and features on your QAT. All right, so if you're gonna customize your QAT, which I highly recommend, you for sure have to memorize save, redo, and undo. There's no other way to get at those. Well, save there is, but for the most part, you really wanna make sure you know these shortcuts before you customize your quick access toolbar with what I think you should be doing, your hardest to reach commands and features. And I'll give you an example of that in just a second. And again, that's true across the whole Microsoft Office suite. The next thing is to think strategically about what you put on your quick access toolbar. So you can leverage drop downs and groups um, on your QAT so that if you put the whole group instead of the individual command, you can actually access all right all of the commands and features, and you can actually get access to all right additional commands and features like this. And let me just quickly show this to you. So let's say, for example, you are building a presentation and you're adding lots of transitions. So if you right click the transitions as a group and select add to quick access toolbar, you actually pull all of those transitions in to um, your quick access toolbar. If you're doing a lot of stuff with fonts, you could right click the fonts. We have to select something that will open up all the different font options available for you. If you later then want to disposable, remember, just right click, select remove when you don't need them anymore. So this is a fast way to bring a either a, a set of commands, here's the smart art drop down. you can bring the paragraph, there's the paragraph options, you can even right click these arrows to add those if that's what you want. So there's a lot of customiz customiz customizability, <coughs> excuse me, that you can do with your quick access toolbar here. Let me just have a quick glass of water. Sorry about that, woo! So, that's leveraging drop downs and groups. So getting more space, instead of putting all of these commands individually on your quick access toolbar, you put a single command or drop down and you get access to all of them. That's a one really easy way to strategically use this and get the most bang for your buck. The next one is to focus on commands and features that are four or five ribbon guides deep into your ribbon. And this is where we're gonna to start to talk about the million dollar keyboard shortcut that I want you to set up. So here is um, some objects. If I want to align this to the top, um, so I wanna be the top, using my ribbon guides is I hit and let go of the Alt key, I hit the H key for the home, 
I hit the G key, I hit the A key, and then I hit the T key. So this is five ribbon guides deep if I want to line the bottom. So hit like a A, Alt key, there's one, H, G, A, B. So right, that's the alignment tool, which is one of the, the best, fastest. So if I come to the home tab, I'm just gonna click with my mouse, align. So if you're aligning things using your ribbon guides, it's gonna take you forever. So what I recommend doing, and I'm gonna do this with you really quick, is to set up, let me just right click and remove this, is to set up the million dollar shortcut. If you wanna screenshot this really quick, these are the instructions. I'm gonna walk through them right now and then show you how this works. You're gonna to come to the home tab. You're gonna to come to the arrange drop down. You're gonna come and right click the alignment tool and select add to quick access toolbar. And it's gonna be added to whatever you have on your quick access toolbar. From there, you're gonna to go to the um, more commands option or customize quick access toolbar. You're gonna to come to the more commands options. Now, if you've never been here, this is where you can add commands and features to your quick access toolbar. You have commands, you know, from the file tab, print tab, merge tab, blah, 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 blah. You also have options for commands not in the ribbon. At this point, all we wanna do is take the align objects command and click it all the way to the top. So it's in the first position. So this becomes Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3, Alt 4, Alt 5, etc. Click OK. And what that now allows me to do, if I come to the next slide, if I want to, for example, align these to the bottom, I hit and let go of the Alt key. You can see the alignment tool right there. I hit one on my keyboard, I hit B for bottom, and they jump to the bottom. If I want this one, Alt 1, L for left. I will select these Alt 1, T for top. I've kind of made my own little puzzle here. I'm going to select these ones and Alt 1, H for distribute horizontally. I can even get my, my chart over here, Alt 1, R for right alignment, Alt 1, B for bottom alignment, Alt 1, C for center, Alt 1, M for middle, all right? So you can very quickly, and I know I'm going through this fast because I don't want to take up too much of your day today, but you can very quickly, Alt 1, L for left, Alt 1, B for bottom, Alt 1, C, Alt 1, M, very quickly align objects on your slide. Now, one quick thing I wanna say about aligning things here in PowerPoint, and this messes people up, is, if I select some objects, Alt-1, you have two different sets. You have a line to slide and you have a line selected objects. Now, I recommend always being on a line selected objects, but if you align to slide, if I control G to group, control G to group, I select these Alt-1A, Alt-1H will distribute all of the objects on my slide. And if I even control shift drag, get another one, Alt-1H will distribute all of the objects on my slide. So Alt-1, Oh, I talk about this more in our PowerPoint crash course, but just keep that in mind that you have these two options. So if something's not working for you, I recommend looking to see if that's the problem. Now just, if, so so that's the that's the million dollar shortcut I'm talking about. If you set that up, and again, here are the, the, the instructions you can screenshot, this will save you a ridiculous amount of time in PowerPoint. Now the last thing I wanna talk about is strategically ordering your QAT for ease of use. And by that I simply mean, as we talk about the, the, the different commands and features, I recommend putting your formatting or things that you do not need your mouse to accomplish. So doing the alignment tool, you don't need your mouse. Doing the font color, the, the shape fill, the shape outline, the more options, the arrange tool, you do not need your mouse to, to draw these on your slides, whereas the rectangle, the line, the text box, the more shapes, um, table options, you need your mouse to click them anyway. So think strategically about what you put where on your QAT because where you put it will change the sequence, um, the keyboard shortcuts that it actually takes for you to get there. So those are your five quick um, quick access toolbar strategies. Put it below your ribbon, focus on commands without shortcuts, leverage commands and groups of so groups and drop sounds to get it more commands, focus on commands that are four or five ribbon guides deep like the alignment tool, and then strategically think about how you order them so you actually get the most out of it. And that's the same thing for all of the other Office programs that you're currently using. And you can also share it here with your colleagues. So if you set up a killer quick access toolbar, um, you can get my quick access toolbar in the PowerPoint's crash course um, we have here at Wall Street Prep, but you can actually import and export the commands. So you can actually share it with your clients and colleagues as well to help them speed them up anymore.